I just recorded 12 minutes of an intro and I went to listen to the audio recording and it did not record anything. Ah, <laughs> uh, fortunately I am in a very good mood today because it is beautiful weather outside. I wore a dress today because I just really wanted to wear a dress today <laughs> because it was warm and sunshiny and really good weather. Um, it is a little bit scary that it is getting so warm in March. I hope the summer isn't too bad, but if it is really hot, I can still go to like lakes and pools and that will be very nice. <laughs> Welcome back to another video guys, thank you for showing up. This is my third video this year in my sketchbook series. Let me explain the sketchbook series. At the beginning of the year, I decided to start a new sketchbook, which doesn't seem like a big deal. Artists are starting new sketchbooks all the time, probably way too much for their own good. But recently for me, I kind of had fallen out of love with my sketchbooking practice. I was like drawing all the time before college and then I got into college and expanded my horizons in the art world, really got into painting and I still kept sketchbooks, but I just didn't really like them that much. I guess painting had kind of more so become my preferred language of art and my skill just didn't quite match my taste when it came to my sketchbook practice. But this year, I really wanted to dig back into that. Um, I really wanted to have a sketchbook that I'm happy with, that I'm proud of, that I can take around with me. Also, a sketchbook that I can not care too much about. I'm kind of caring a lot about this sketchbook right now, like I'm really happy with it so far, so I don't know if that goal has been met, Maybe I just need a second sketchbook that I don't share with like anybody that can just be my my trash sketchbook. But this sketchbook is very exciting for me because I've tried out lots of different styles and concepts and I honestly, I have a lot of fun with it. And so in this series, I've been bringing you along with me to show you my experience with this sketchbook. Uh, raw and unfiltered. I don't have a time limit. I'm not trying to finish it in like a few weeks or a year even. I probably will finish it in a year. That's my guess. Um, but if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen and that's okay. I am just showing you what my mindset is the whole time and the process of drawing in it, um, bringing you along with me and hoping to inspire you in your own art practice along the way. Also, in each of these videos, I am partnering with Skillshare and I am recommending one Skillshare class per video that may be helpful to you in your own sketchbooking practice. The videos will have like sketchbooking related topics, um, whether it be ideas on how to fill your sketchbook, tips on how to go about sketching, things like that. And so let me explain what Skillshare is first. Skillshare is a platform with thousands of videos. You guys have heard my spiel before if you have followed me for any amount of time, probably. It is, yeah, primarily aimed at creative people. Lots of creative classes like photography, painting, sketchbooking, obviously, filmmaking, acting even. It's hard for me to think of more classes outside of the classes that I've taken before, but there's lots on there, lots to choose from. And the class that I would like to recommend you guys for this video is, drum roll please. This is Start Drawing, Three Fun Freeing Exercises to Spark Your Creativity by the artist Carly Kuhn. And I first took this class like two years ago, I think. Um, and it really inspired me. It definitely lives in my memory as a good class. Um, it's another short one, like, like the last class I suggested. And so it's pretty easy to take in if you are in a rush. She gives three really simple exercises to help get your creativity going, maybe get you a little bit out of art block, at least, you know, kind of put a band-aid over it temporarily. I do the blind contour exercise all the time whenever I don't know what to draw in my sketchbook, but I want to draw something. So I recommend this class. It's a good one. And it is the third one I will be recommending in this series. And I come bearing gifts, the gift of a code to get you a free trial of 
Skillshare's premium membership so you can see what it is all about. The link is in the description and if you are one of the first 1,000 people to click on it, then you will get a free trial of Skillshare's premium membership. Okay, um, without further ado, let us get into the sketchbook update. I have six new pictures to share with you. Some of them come with a story. So get ready to hear all about the new pieces in my sketchbook. All right, here it is in all its stickered glory. I will briefly go through the previous pieces that I've done here just to give you a quick re recap. And then we will continue on to the new pages. Here we go. So this piece is one of the story pieces I was talking about. This is something that was just, I don't know, just an interesting thing to happen in my day. So I went to the local coffee shop. I was just sitting there preparing to do some work of mine, just little things that I hadn't really had time to do previously. But then I decided I would take a sketching break for the sake of filling up this sketchbook, um, for the sake of just having a mental break as well. There was only me and this other guy in the room. He was just quietly doing his work with earphones in and everything. And I just thought I would ask him, hey, can I, do you mind if I draw you for practice? And he said yes. And he actually got up to go get some water real quick. And then he came back and sat down. And as he was sitting down, just to be friendly, before he put his earphones back in, I decided I would ask him what he was doing. And that turned out to be a very not simple question, or at least the answer to that question was not as simple as I had thought it would be. And we ended up getting into this big, deep philosophical discussion because he is working on something that has to do with philosophy and has to do with making the world better and changing the way people think. And so he talked to me all about his project. Um, we discussed other things that were related to that. I told him a little bit about my art. He's an artist as well, um, grew up in a very artsy family, but he's also many other things at the same time and it was just a good conversation it lasted over an hour i believe and i just kept kind of drawing while we were having the conversation i did the sketch first did some more details there um, actually i think it started out as a pencil sketch and then i moved on to pen and then i did a little bit of color i introduced a little bit of color into the scene that's about when the conversation ended and i had to move on to my next thing but it was just very interesting and I'm glad I said something. I think having these random conversations with strangers is a really cool thing. So I'm glad that happened. And that is the first sketch in this update. So we are starting off pretty strong. This one also has a little bit of a story behind it. This was in my dining room here at the house. We were all just coming together at the end of kind of an, an intense day for most of us. And we were just talking, discussing things, doing all of this over some dinosaur egg oatmeal. And that's why, I, that's what I call this piece. I called it dinosaur eggs. It's little like sugar eggs in your oatmeal. And then whenever you pour milk into it, then they hatch and dinosaurs come out. So we were eating that for the first time and, and drinking tea and just decompressing over all the events of the day and all the stress that was in our lives. So this one was done a few weeks ago in a little small group that I've started meeting with and they have a picture of butterflies in their house and I just decided to doodle some butterflies on this page. I'm actually kind of planning to come back and treat it as a coloring page just whenever I'm bored and I, I have nothing, no ideas to draw anything else. I can just color this in with crazy colors and have fun with it. This is another little backstory, kind of, sort of. I went to visit our local McKay's, which is a record shop, a bookstore, um, and lots of other used things as well. These are all CDs, as you can see, as you hopefully can see if I drew them correctly. I went with my boyfriend and he was just browsing records and I decided to take advantage of the opportunity to do a little sketching. And I sketched it with a red 
pinkish pin. Um, and then I put watercolor over it. I had this element of uh, bleeding pin ink in one of my other pieces, this one. Um, I drew the whole thing in pin and then I went over it with watercolor and the pin bled and I really liked that and I wanted to revisit it and so I did in this piece. So I put the pin down and then immediately afterwards I colored it with my watercolors. That was just a really nice time. I remember one specific instance, I was just drawing and it was really quiet in the store and then I realized all of a sudden why it was quiet because the music just came back on and I realized, oh shoot, we there had been no music this entire time. And it was a Journey song, I love Journey. It was a good moment. I enjoy sketching in public. I enjoy capturing the moment in my sketchbook. This was created last weekend when I went to visit my family for my dad's birthday. And I just went on a walk in my old town, because I don't live there anymore, but it definitely is still home to me since my family lives there. And so I went on a walk through the streets. It was like evening or close to evening time and people were taking walks around me. The sun was low, not setting, but kind of low in the sky. And I, the weather was beautiful. It was like perfect temperature. I found this little street corner and one light was on and the other one was off and I thought it looked kind of magical so I stationed myself right there, brought out my sketchbook and my watercolors and just captured that moment with dogs barking in the distance and birds tweeting and the occasional car coming down the road, the occasional person coming down the sidewalk and had a lovely time, a very nice therapeutic evening. This is the final piece in here. I honestly don't even remember when I did this. I might have been sitting in church. It's often one of the best places to just do like mindless doodles. I've done a few of these where you just kind of drag the pen across the page in random little designs. I tried to not let the pen touch itself. There are some places where that did happen just because I was getting really close, but it's cute. She's cute. Um, it reminds me of this other abstract piece that I did right here. Just some fun little doodles. And that is it for now. Come back next month and I will give you the update of the next few pages. And that is all, folks. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please let me know what your favorite sketchbook page was. Please comment. Please like this video. If you're new to my channel, subscribe. Also, like, if you haven't already, hit the bell for notifications. I never say that. I always forget to say that. I forget how important it is, but yeah hit the bell so that you won't miss the next sketchbook video and also the next vlog which will be my january january vlog which was two whole months ago but that will be coming sometime also don't forget to check the link in the description for that free skillshare premium trial um i hope you enjoy it and yeah i hope you are having a good sketchbook journey of your own if you are doing so. Share tips in the comments, share ideas. Let's get this going. Let's get the inspiration flowing. Um, yeah, I think that is it. I hope you are having a beautiful day wherever you are right now. I know there's some hard things happening in the world right now, um, especially Ukraine. If you are in Ukraine, if you have family in Ukraine, if you have friends in Ukraine, just know that I am thinking of you. I am praying for you. Um, I love you guys and my heart hurts for all the pain that's happening right now, whether related to Ukraine or just related to just being a human in a broken world. I love you guys and I hope that you can find some beauty in your day because I believe it is there. It does exist. I promise you that. Sending love to you from my corner of the world and I truly hope you have a good day moving forward. Stay safe. You are loved. Find beauty. All right, bye guys.